I guess the word resilience does depend a great deal on the context of what you're dealing with at the time. Resilience is a sort of quality and you sort of know in a sense when something's able to cope with change and, and deal with it. My trainings as an ecologist originally and there's a specific definition around resilience about the ability of a, of a system, any given system, to withstand shocks and changes and still come back. If I think of a, a resilient community or a resilient town or a resilient city and thinking about how people can get together, how they can organise to support each other. For 100 resilient cities, resilience is the ability of a city to maintain essential functions um, and emerge stronger after chronic stresses and acute shocks. And we think resilience is the ability of a city to really bring together um, those issues that they face and, and develop meaningful plans. On a day-to-day -day level, deal with the day-to-day -day stresses that cities face, poverty, um, changes in infrastructure, uh, capacity constraints. Um, the, uh, the ability to adapt to economic changes globally. In times of trouble, things don't fall apart. So resilience has to be about thinking ahead and designing systems so we don't get devastating damage. It's not about, oh, when a devastating damage happens, then all kinds of people who are good at emergencies helicopter in. I think we build resilience out of a strategy of making sure that we are very diverse and that is having a diverse population, having a very uh, good neighbour attitude so we're all looking out for each other but also about having this very diverse economy. I think it's also about the ability to thrive in a new and changed circumstances. Society's ability to thrive in difficult times is, the, is down to the people and their capacity to share, to work together, to act um, for the collective and to support each other. To me, it means the ability to resist a threat and the ability to quickly bounce back having suffered um, an incident. We need to leave a legacy and that's what resilience is about. It's building for the future, developing for the future, making sure we can resist incidents now but doing it better for the future. I just love that word slippery because it sort of applies to quite a few things, sustainability and globalisation, and, but resilience is also in that same category of words, it's a very slippery word.